Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Cursor to get more leads, more traffic, more sales from SEO to rank for multiple keywords. You can see Cursor are absolutely smashing it when it comes to SEO already. And the method that we're gonna be using today is the same method that I've used to generate more traffic to this one single page. And I'm gonna give you all the prompts, tips, workflows, and SPs from today as well. Additionally, this is completely free. I'll be showing you how to generate SEO optimized content that actually ranks along with free tools the rank on the first page of Google. Let's get straight into it. And by the way, this video was inspired by a great video by Kaz Radash called Cursor AI SEO Hack. Definitely recommend checking out, great video. And I'm gonna be expanding on that and showing some even more advanced techniques inside this video today. So if you're not familiar, this is Cursor AI. And basically it's a code editor, as you can see right here, and you can download it for free. Now, is mostly like a coder system, but it's very useful for AI, even if you don't code. So if you've never had any coding experience like me, for example, then you don't need this code and use it for SEO, which is what I'm going to come on to. And I'll come on to some of the best use cases, but it's a new tool recently released. We're going to get straight into exactly how to use it for SEO. First thing you're going to do is just download it and then we can start using it from there. If you're wondering, is it free? Yeah, you can see they've got a free plan right there. And I have not paid for this tool, but I'm using it for SEO. So let's get straight into it. Once you've downloaded Cursor, it's going to look something like this, as you can see. And it looks a bit techy, but it's actually not. If we zoom in a bit here, you can see, for example, you've got a chat, just kind of like chat GPT. You can add some context. You can switch between models. So you've got GPT 4.0, Cursor Small, GPT 3.5, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And G my personal favorite is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. You can like mention different projects, files, folders, code, even the web, etc., And then you can switch between the chat. Now, what this is great for is building out tools that can attract a lot of backlinks and also rank on the first page of Google. So for example, if we look at something like SEO calculator, which you can easily build with cursor, and I'll show you how to in a minute, you see that it gets a massive amount of traffic potential. If we scroll down to who's ranking on the first page of Google, we can see seoability.net and they've attracted 3,500 backlinks to their tool that they've built. And so, for example, if you look at this custom GPT tool that I've built with ChatGPT, you can see it's ranking for a bunch of keywords, is getting traffic, that traffic is rising as the core update is released, and it's attracting tons of backlinks, as you can see right here. And so when you're building out tools, like I'll show you with Cursor at SEO, you can embed these to your website, you can attract a lot of traffic, you can rank for the keywords, you can attract backlinks, as I've already shown you, and it's very easy to do in like one single click. Let me show you exactly how it works. So let's say you wanted to build a tool for a keyword like SEO calculator. We can go straight into cursor over here, go to the chat, and we will say, create a basic SEO calculator that I can embed into my WordPress page. And that would be the very bare basics of it. Now, once we've hit enter, like you can see, it's going to start creating the code and it looks complicated, it's absolutely not. All you're gonna do is just copy and paste that into your site. And if you want to tweak it, you can as well. So as an example of that, we can hit copy over here. We can go back to our WordPress website. We'll add a new post. You can probably do this in any content management system. So it doesn't need to be WordPress exactly. And then if you just go to add a new block inside WordPress, we can type in forward slash HTML, put in the HTML code like so. Then you can preview it. You can see that you've got the basics of the calculator. And if we hit save draft, we're not gonna publish that straight away. I'm going to show you a lot more cool things and we're going to start with the bare basics and then we'll build it up, right? So this is the bare basics. And then in a minute, I'll show you exactly how to design it, how to create SEO optimized content around it all for free using one prompt. So if we preview this in the new tab, you can see it's generating the preview for the calculator page and we've got the basics there. And then for example, we'll put SEO, SEO calculator, just to show you whether this works or not, put in the SEO content here. SEO is great. Focus keyword equals SEO calculator, calculate the SEO score. And then once you filled that in, it will come up with something like this, right? And so you can just tweak and mess around and you can tweak it. You can go back and forth with cursor until you've got exactly what you want. That's essentially how it goes in terms of the bare basics. Now, one thing that I want to tell you here is that sometimes it might not work when you actually click like go or calculate score or something like that. Sometimes you just click the button, it doesn't work. And so in those situations, what I do to fix it is I'll just say something like, this isn't working on my WordPress page when I put in the metrics. And then it will just come back with something that's a bit more simplified, like you can see right here. And eventually it works, as you can see right here. 
And so if you want access to all the prompts, I'll give you access at the end of this video, but you can see, for example, here's a prompt to create a basic tool and here's the troubleshooting prompt if you are struggling with it. Now let's keep going and take this up a notch, right? So as you can see on this page, it's not very nicely designed. It's not very branded, etc. So we want to really improve the design so that when people on the page, the user experience is just 10 times better. How can we do that? So we can go into ask a follow-up inside cursor and we can say something like, here's my brand colors, create a beautifully designed calculator that looks amazing when people land on the page. And you see, it says certainly mate, let's do that for you. So we'll copy that code and now we've got something that's probably going to look a lot better when we insert it into our website. So we'll go to WordPress. We'll just press command and a paste and paste in the code over the old one. We'll hit save draft and then we can preview it. Now you can see basically the whole process here is that you're really iterating and improving with each step. So it might take you a few back and forths to get it right. Now, what you can also see when we've previewed it, it looks really, really bad. And so that just might be me messing up the code, but I'm going to paste in this image and I'm going to say, this doesn't look right. Improve it plus make it clean. And so because of that, I'm going to say, here's my brand colors, design the calculator. So it looks amazing. Should be embeddable on my WordPress inner page. Now we'll see how this looks instead. Now, as you can see, it's starting to look a lot better. It's not perfect, definitely not perfect, but you can see how you can just easily improve the branding, the design, etc., by going back and forth with cursor a bit more. Now, one thing I want to say here is like, don't expect this to be right first time, especially if you're not a coder like me. So for example, in these sort of situations, there is a lot of back and forth with, with cursor. There is a lot of like copying and pasting and tweaking and iterating. But that's really part of the process. And bear in mind, like normally you would pay a developer hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to do something like this for you. Whereas this is completely free as I'm showing you, I haven't paid for this tool. So just to recap, I've shown you how to create a basic tool to embed on your website using cursor. I've shown you how to troubleshoot if you have any problems and I've shown you how to embed it to your site plus redesign it. So it looks a lot better based on what's working for me so far. Now, when it comes to actually finding keywords that you can actually create and embed on the website to improve your SEO traffic using this process. If you look at, for example, this tool that I'm ranking, which is increasing in traffic all the time and also generating backlinks, as you can see right here to the page naturally, basically the way that I can find easy keywords like this is there's a paid option and a free option. If you want to do the paid option, you can type in, for example, your niche into Keyword Explorer on Ahrefs. You can put in, for example, calculator and your niche. Then from there, just go to keyword ideas and search for something that's a lot easier, right? So for example, SEO budget calculator, much easier to rank for than just SEO calculator. And it'd be easy to create that with cursor. The free option would be that you do the same thing. So we can go onto Google, we can type in, for example, SEO calculator, and then we can look down the autocomplete and go, okay, SEO cost calculator, SEO ROI calculator, title calculator, traffic calculator, etc. These are all keywords that we can find for free for any niche, any industry, etc using this process. And it doesn't cost us anything because we're using Google Autocomplete. And then from there, if you're like, oh, I don't know how competitive it is, just have a look at the first page and see, right, can I realistically outrank the pages that are already ranking on the first page of Google? And that really depends on how authoritative your website is and how many backlinks you build to it, right? To, so to find tool related keywords, you can type in niche and calculator inside Ahrefs, or you can type in, for example, niche and calculator inside Google Autocomplete for free. The other thing that you can do is it doesn't have to be calculator, right? So for example, it could be like SEO tool. Even better, you can put in, for example, free SEO tool, filter down to KD10. And then for example, like free YouTube SEO tool is a much easier keyword that still gets good traffic potential. And we could easily create that directly inside cursor just by taking the keyword using the prompt before. But instead of saying create a basic SEO calculator, we can put, for example, create a basic free YouTube SEO tool that I can embed into my in a WordPress page, we'll go back into cursor, we'll plug in that prompt right there, and then it will start creating the tool. As you can see, we've got the code. Once it's finished generating, then we can copy the code and paste it into our website. And this will work for anyone, right? So for example, if we switch this, not just for a, let's say you're in the health space. If we put some, so for example, if we put something like calorie calculator into Ahrefs using the same method, we can go down to KD, fill this down to like KD 10 or less hit share results. And again, we've got a bunch of ideas and then just select the most relevant one to you. Works for any industry, any niche. Now, another thing that you can actually do is you can take your calculator like so. 
So we'll take this redesign prompt, plug it in, but then we're going to say create an SEO optimized introduction, headings and subheadings related to my calculator with the code embedded halfway through. And then we'll just put something like include instructions, be conversational, answer relevant FAQs and target the keyword SEO calculator, include relevant entities plus LSIs. And we can try that prompt. If it doesn't work, that's okay. We can always adapt it and change it, but we'll give that prompt a go. Now, the thing that I would say is the beauty of this is a cursor is using Claude 3.5 Sonnet to generate the content. Now, now Claude 3.5 Sonnet is one of the best free AI writing models. And so in one single click, you can not just generate the code, which is what cursor is designed for, but you can also generate the SEO optimized content above and below it. So you've basically got a one click calculator page using this method, right? So for example, if we take this right here, we'll copy the response as you can see, we'll delete this original block, paste in the title to the page, and then we're going to select the content, which is nicely formatted already. Then we'll take the code from cursor, paste in the code there. Then we'll add a block here with the code, which we'll grab from cursor, as you can see. I don't know if this is going to work first time, but we'll give it a go. Then we'll take the rest of the content and see if that works. Now, you definitely want to edit this content before you publish it. And if you need help on that, I've actually got this SEO checklist that I've included inside the video notes from today. And then what I've done is I've pasted the rest of the content underneath. Now you can see this content is coming out 863 words. Some of that will be the code though. We'll hit save on that and then we'll click on preview in the tab. Now you can see we've got the video type. And so we'll put an example video title and description inside the tool and just check it actually works. Analyze the SEO. Now you can see again, it's gone a bit AWOL there. So it's redirecting to the home page. We'll copy that code, see if this works again, save the draft and let's go again, my friends. And then you can see now it's working. We've got all the content on the page, etc. One thing that I would say here is like, if you make the tool too complicated, it's going to totally mess up and you'll be going back and forth with it for a long time. So if you ever get like some errors like I've shown you today, it's definitely not perfect. And I would just say simplify the calculator as much as you possibly can. The more you do that, the better. The other thing, what I think this could also be very useful for is like lead magnets. So if you had a lot more time to go back and forth with cursor, you could probably create something where people enter in their information to use that calculator, but then they have to opt in or put in their email address to receive the results, right? And then you send that to your CRM, you use it as a lead magnet, you can collect and build your email list from there. And you, let's say you don't want to use cursor. Now, if you want to use this for free, we could also try using this on po.com and then get access to Claw 3.5 Sonic. I don't pay for po.com, but if we take that prompt that we used earlier to generate the SEO optimized content and the calculator in one single prompt, let's give it a go. We'll hit enter and see what it comes back with. And you can see that it actually generates the content and it previews the calculator directly inside po.com along with all the SEO optimized content, which is a pretty nice method considering it's completely free. I think you still need to be careful about the code. You know, it's likely to be buggy. For example, it may be buggy. So you just have to be careful with that. But you can see here how it generates the actual SEO content, designs the calculator fairly nicely. It's got the brand colors, etc., And then it's got the SEO optimized content underneath. And all of that was completely free. We did it in one click using this single prompt that's inside the video notes. So today I've shown you how to create calculators for baiting backlinks, ranking for calculator keywords, ranking for free tool related keywords, how to add more SEO optimized content around it, how to generate lead magnets, automating basically anything. And if you don't want to pay for cursor or the free trial runs out or you run out of credits, etc., then you can use the free PO with Claw 3.5 Sonnet method. But either way, you can generate nicely designed calculators like you can see right here. You can embed them to your website, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the video notes from today and that will be available inside my free SEO course. If we go to the free SEO tools section over here, cursor is the name of the module. So just go to free SEO tools, then cursor and the video notes are right down there. So if you want access to the prompts and the video notes from today, just check out the link in the comments and description for the free SEO course. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session one to one, where we'll show you how to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO, feel free to book that in links in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot 
In that free link building acceleration session, you're going to get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions you have. You learn the best link building strategies for your website. You learn how to outrank your competitors for link building and how to increase your SEO traffic. Feel free to put that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye bye.